I've never been as excited as I am today to do a video because this video is not talking just about stocks. It's talking about how to live your life and how to create wealth and to keep your wealth. And that is the most important thing for the rest of your life when it comes to money. Staying wealthy takes discipline and you have to set up your rules. Once you set up your rules, you'll be able to do it. It takes a lot of hard work, but I'm gonna tell you, I learned this from a gentleman that has proven that this works well. He, this is what he practices and this is what he teaches. And he was kind enough to share his information and his knowledge with me so that I can then come and share it with everybody else. So as we go through this, remember, I will talk about what we're gonna do and how you're gonna save money. And then I'll have some rules afterwards as well. So let's get to that. To make it simple, we're gonna break it down into my finances. And let's just say that it's $100,000 we will be talking about. So what we're gonna do is break it into our 10 different buckets. And this will represent, each bucket represents something. So let's go through it. The first will be housing, next will be transportation, food, medical, utilities, now savings is the next one, personal, clothing, entertainment, and miscellaneous. Now each one is going to take a different amount of your salary. The housing takes 25%, transportation takes 15%, food, medical, utilities, and savings each take 10%, and the last four are gonna take 5%. Now each month, you're gonna put in the amount of money that you're supposed to put in for that month to make for housing 25%, for food 10%, for, for personal is 5%, and that money stays in that bucket. And what you're going to do is never take money from one bucket and put it into the other bucket. For instance, don't take money from the medical and put it into the food. Don't take money from savings and put it into transportation because your car broke down. So don't do that. The only ones that you can do that a little bit is for miscellaneous and entertainment. That money you can possibly move and put it somewhere else where it's necessary. Now over time what's gonna happen is that you're gonna save money over the year, whatever money's left over, is gonna stay there for the following year, and guess what happens? You start building up wealth in each bucket. And this is the way to be financially free. Okay, so super simple, huh? Well, initially everybody's gonna struggle uh, because we are not used to spending or saving in this manner. And because we are not used to this, Initially, those buckets are, are gonna shift a little bit and we're gonna be taking money a little bit from each bucket until we stabilize ourselves and get used to the program as to how to save this money. Once we start saving that money and once we start doing this program the way we need to, then it's gonna be perfect. So initially, you might have some of the extra money that, you're, that you need uh, coming from your savings and your savings may have to take a little bit of a hit there until you're used to coming down and narrowing down what you spend, how you spend it, where you put it and then that savings needs to grow. Once you're stabilized you never touch the savings again. Okay. Now another thing is when you get that check from the IRS that is a nice little refund never touch that. That doesn't go into any other bucket other than your savings. So make sure to put it in there. You have to run this like a business. So every October you're going to reassess, you're going to figure out how much you'll be making and then you start changing those percentages. So now 25% and maybe a little bit more, a little bit less depending on what your situation is. Hopefully every year it's a little bit more that you're putting into every bucket uh, if you're making more money. So one of the rules that is really interesting and that uh, I was told is that you want to have, I was always told to have three to six months worth of, of salary uh, or of savings so that you can use that in case you lose your job. His rule is to save what you make in one year. So if you make 
a hundred thousand then have a hundred thousand in your savings so that if you lose your job for whatever reason you're not going to struggle first thing you're going to do when you lose your job you're going to cut all the expenses that you do not need so cable telephone any other things that eating out anything else that you do not need that's going out the window and you're going to narrow down and focus only on your necessities so that you can ex extend that money not only for one year but maybe three years or five years whatever it takes so that you can survive and do well until you're able to become employed once again if you're married and uh, you both have jobs try very hard to live on one salary only and save the other salary completely and that way you're going to reassure yourself of a nice retirement when the time comes now if you have more than one job two jobs three jobs then you can break that into each bucket or you can just say i'm going to live off this one salary and the rest of the salaries are actually going into savings eventually what you want is those buckets are going to be overflowing and and you want savings that's going to be overflowing you want a house budget in there that is going to be overflowing for those that are young right now and maybe they're not thinking of buying a house yet maybe they're moving with their parents after college and they can start saving now a savings is also considered if you're paying off your debt so you have a student loan and you're paying off the debt then you're saving a certain percentage because if not that interest rate is just going to eat you and so by paying that off you're actually saving money so that can be considered a savings but eventually you want every bucket overflowing so that 10 years 20 years from now each bucket has so much money in it and you know where that money belongs you have to have a ledger schedule it so that you know that I have two hundred and fifty thousand dollars set aside for a house budget and you have you know so much for transportation so that when the time comes you can go on ahead and buy a new vehicle if you need it now the rule of thumb on the on your vehicles is if they last you 10 years it's pretty much paid for itself uh, it would be ideal to buy it in cash and buy a new car so that the new car will have no problems and then make sure the maintenance stays up to date uh, changing that oil, change, rotating the tires, doing all the things that it tells you to do as far as the filters and making sure that that car is going to last you 10 years and maybe even 20 years and that's going to be quite a savings. Now of course some people say that buying a used car is better for me personally and the person I talked to they said new car to make sure it's not going to be a lemon or anything like that that way if it is a lemon you just t turn it back in and get another car but um, you can do it that way and that will be an ideal way to have a car now by the time you need a new car that bucket is going to be overflowing with money and you will have enough to buy a car cash again so that's the perfect way to do that now we gave you the rule of never taking from one bucket and putting it into another bucket you still have the entertainment and the miscellaneous and those uh, are a little bit uh, uh, loose there you can actually take some of that money and move it over to something else if you needed it um, initially and if you need that then you can do it but for the most part try to keep those uh, buckets full and used for what it's used miscellaneous of course can be used for anything but that's the idea of getting that structure and that habit of making sure that you know where each dollar is spent so that you can save more money. Now, if you're able to follow these rules, you are going to be a rich person. There is no way that you won't be a rich person. These rules and these guidelines are made to make sure that you can save money and have money when it's necessary. For those that are just starting their professional career, I hope you watch this video because this video is the one that will set you straight and going in the path that my friend has taken 
and has led to his financial freedom. And if you do this, I think you'll have financial freedom as well. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching Alpha Cave. Thank you everybody for subscribing. Please like and subscribe and watch all our other videos. We're trying our best to get you some good quality videos and we'll keep on pushing hard. So thank you so much. Take care guys.